COVID as catalyst, obviously for some organizations it completely is. For others, I think it's it's been a uh, such a shock what's going on. The <laughs> business has uh, been impacted so badly. Uh, I think there's certainly a counter argument that some organizations have sort of put a lot of future orientated things on hold. How, how would you square those two? What do you, what, what do you think the sort of net net of that uh, acceleration kind of breaking effect that COVID is having in, in the development of AI at the moment? Yeah, there, there's a few things that I think are interesting to kind of keep, keep an eye on is that this idea that you can be flexible and adaptive has changed the game for what is it to be a resilient business? Now we're thinking much more about elasticity. So you see companies who are recognizing that just by breaking their business, they could understand, you know what, we can't single source from our suppliers anymore to produce our products and bring them to market. We have to shard our suppliers so that manufacturing is also sharded and that we're meeting demand more locally, but still being global in the way that we bring our products to market. What we're hearing a lot from our clients is how do we shore up a more strategic sourcing capability to handle an understanding of the dynamics or seeing those dynamics come out um, and then moving that into more effective models that are elastic in nature to recognize and change and shift what those recommendations are in a more nascent fashion than the the scripting of the models. One more thing that's really important to understand is even businesses who would consider themselves a little bit behind or lagging in terms of their AI adoption, AI's grown up enough through what um, service providers and um, software vendors are, are offering where you can buy intelligent solutions. So even a Main Street restaurant can turn to their partner who's handling all of their order management, you know, at tables and say, what else do you have in your platform that can help me understand my customers and better plan out my business? So just by making those slight shifts in technologies that you currently have adopted to take advantage of more of these AI capabilities, that's helping you accelerate into this new age as well. So it doesn't have to be sci-fi and sexy. It can also be, what are my partners delivering today? Because they've gotten a lot of knowledge working at the, at the front lines of this.